You're not actually going to try and slay me or anything, right? Because I wouldn't if I were you. <laughs> I will be here when it is time for us to meet again. Everything goes dark. And you die. The, I'm yeah. always uh, yeah, jump scared yeah, yeah, yeah. by that. <laughs> <laughs> it, it is pretty sudden. Okay. You're on a path okay. in the woods. And at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. Hmm. Let me... Manual on... I guess... Ah, autosave, quick save, and nine pages of saves. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, so... This is... The fourth time around? I believe so. Yeah, okay. We had the... The contrarian, we had the cold, and we had the skeptic. Yeah, there's no... I, I don't imagine... Well, okay. Uh, all right. Let's see. You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. Hmm. Okay. So who's gonna be there? Who's gonna come around this time? Uh Does it? Are you a monarchist? I'm talking about the end of every Are you serious? Do you have any evidence to back this up? Look, you're already on the path that leads to the cabin. Why would you be here if it weren't to complete a very right. important... You don't tell me why she's dangerous. I'm not going to kill her. She's not dangerous. She's just a princess. The danger... Mm -hmm. Okay. Don't mention it. It's all part of the job. You make your way up the short path. No one knew so far. <laughs> the interior of the cabin is almost entirely bare. The blade is your implement. Oh. You take the blade from the table. It'll be rather... There will be blood. The door to the basement creaks her voice. Who's there? She sounds dangerous. Don't let it fool you. Hey, I think I'm here to kill you. Oh, are you now? Why don't you come down and let me take a look at you? Great job. You gave away the element of surprise. Good luck, hero. You walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. There's a heavy chain on she's so cold. Focus on the task at hand. You weren't kidding when you said you were here to kill me. Yeah, it wasn't a joke. I know. You brought a knife with you and everything. But you don't have to try and kill me. You could always toss that scrap of metal to the ground and give the two of us a chance to talk things out. Hmm. So this, uh, 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 on chapter two, she pretty much is down to die. Chapter one, she doesn't want to. She makes a compelling point. What if we didn't kill her? What if we just dropped the blade and talked? Don't you dare. It's fine. We can decide what we want to do after we talk to her. Maybe she really is a monster. But killing someone in cold blood isn't very becoming of us. blade tumbles out of your trembling hands and drops to the floor with an unceremonious clack. Mm -hmm. 
thank you. Maybe now we can just talk. Against your better judgment, you step forward to speak with the princess face to face. Unarmed. We'll be fine. I don't know what you're hoping to accomplish here, but I can assure you there's no reasoning with her. <sighs> just make sure you don't forget about the blade on the floor. You're going to need it. So here we are. What an awkward start to a relationship. Mm hmm. Do you know why I'm here to kill you? Do you? <laughs> nope. You're lying. How does she know that? Don't think that just because I'm the one in chains, it means you have a right to interrogate me. How long's it been? Too long. Note the lack of detail. You can't trust her. Okay. Oh, have you decided what to do with me? You know why you're here. Hmm. Will you keep your lark away down here for a bit to get to know each other? That seems like a pretty good compromise. Leaving her alive is too risky. If you don't deal with her soon, she will find a way out. One way or another, I'm going to find a way out of here. You can make it easier for both of us if you help. And if you don't, I can promise that you'll come to regret that decision. You have to make a choice. Let's hope for all our sakes it's the right one. <laughs> Oh. Okay. I made my choice. I'm locking her in the basement. I know you think this is a fair compromise, but it isn't. No one wins here. It's a chance we'll have to take. We can make this work. If we just stay here and keep watch, no one has to die. You're making a mistake. Oh. You turn your back to the princess and make your way to the stairs. It won't be long before I slip these chains. And once I'm out of here, there will be hell to pay for leaving me behind. Slip these chains? She can't, right? She needed our help to get out of here. But do you hear the conviction in her voice? I don't think she's bluffing. Either way, she dropped her mask, didn't she? You can still turn around and finish the job. Hero's more confident in this particular route. Oh, we're sticking to the plan and locking her down here. Yep. It'll be the death of all of us, but fine. Have it your way. You close the basement door, locking it behind you and quickly barricading it with the heavy wooden table that once held the blade. Okay. We can make this work. You settle in against the far wall to watch the basement door. And then you wait for eternity. It isn't long before you start to drift off, your eyelids heavy with fatigue. But sleep doesn't come. Instead, your rest is broken by a piercing, wailing voice calling out to you from the other side of the door. I know you're still there. Why don't you make things easier on yourself and let me out? Mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> mm -mm. <laughs> nope. <laughs> oh, nope. 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 Mm -mm. Mm -mm. It's not like this little door I'll hold for very long anyways. Huh? It's probably a good idea to try to get back on my good side. She sounds terrifying. Like she's less of the princess you saw, and more like something out of a nightmare. As she violently rattles the door, you do your best to shut her out of your mind. When I get out of here, I'm going to pick you apart piece by piece. I won't forget what you did, and I'll never forgive it. You don't know the kind of enemy you've made tonight. It doesn't sound like she's getting any weaker. No. It doesn't. That's wrathful. Yeah. She could have been a keeper, but we were all wrong about it. <laughs> Threaten me all you want. All it does is ease my guilty conscience. So all of that was just an act, wasn't it? You're not really innocent or harmless. You're not even a princess. You're a monster. Ignore her and go to sleep. 
These aren't threats. These are promises. Sooner or later, you're going to have to sleep. And I'll make sure you never see the light of day again. You put the princess's threats out of your mind as best you can and huddle up against the wall. You jolt awake in the middle of the night to silence in the cabin. The ruckus has stopped, and the door to the basement is ajar, its lock broken, and the table shoved out of the way. Uh -huh. Where is she? Thanks for helping me get out of that awful basement. You try and stumble to your feet, but as the princess draws near, it's as though your body simply stops working. You're welcome. It isn't all at once. The paralysis comes in waves. First your toes go numb, and then your feet, and then your legs. You lie prone on the floor of the cabin, unable to do anything but witness her approach. Whose side are you on? Yours, of course. But I have a duty to uphold the truth. Lying about the facts of the situation doesn't change them. So helpless. I can take my time with you, can't I? She steps closer, one silent footfall at a time, cocking her head in curiosity as you feel your organs shutting down one by one. Or maybe I can't take my time with you. You don't look well. A little green around the gills. What a shame. If you'd only help me get out of here, we could have done such wonderful things together. Mm -hmm. Your lungs stop drawing in breath, and your heart freezes in your chest. You have seconds left. I'd say better luck next time, but we both know this is the end, don't we? It can't be. This can't actually be how everything ends. I'm sorry, but it is. Everything goes dark, and you die. Did... So just by standing next to her, <laughs> just by being in her presence, in the you're woods. fucking dead. Some people do be like that. Fix that. Mm -hmm. Fix that level of and toxicity of that, cabin, mm -hmm. that destroys you for merely her. being in her presence. Oh, yeah, okay. No. Oh, don't you start grandstanding about morals. The fate of the world is at risk right now, and the life of a mere prince. If he doesn't remember what happened, then maybe it's best to keep it that way. Shh. What if he hears us? Ah, uh, <gasps> voice of the paranoid. Little voice. What if he does hear you? Shit. I think you'll find yourselves very hard pressed to keep any secrets from me. Not that it matters right now, because like I said, this is the first time we've met. Still, I'd rather not get off on the wrong foot. We've a world to save after all. Okay, chapter two is when the new voices come in. Okay. Why bother doing anything? Those are two very different. Let's say for a moment that this yeah. really is. If you're back here, I must. We couldn't trust either of you. And as far as I'm concerned, we still can't. All we did was lock her away. And how'd that work out for you? No comment. Well then, congratulations. You've been given another chance to actually do this right. And your solution is to send us back in there. Do you want us to slay the princess, or do you want the princess to slay us? Obviously, I want you to slay her. One of you poses a threat to the world, and the other doesn't. Anyways, I believe your other question was something along the lines of, What's the point of doing anything? If you're asking that, it sounds to me like you're making... Well, what do you mean? Of course, there weren't any consequences. We were killed by the princess, and now everyone's right back where they started. It sounds pretty consequence-free to me. Speak for yourself. From my perspective, there were plenty of consequences. I'm never going to forget the way she just made us stop working. And that's only scratching the surface. If what you said is true, it begs the question of how you got back here. Did time simply rewind itself, or have you found yourself in another world altogether? If it's the latter, what do you think happened after you died? Do you think the people there lived happily ever after? Or do you think that the princess, left unhindered, brought about the end to everyone and everything, just like I told you she would? If she brought an end to everything and everyone, how are we supposed to stop her? 
What do you want from us? I want you to succeed. You'll find a way. You're the only one who can. Okay. So Otto will actually uh, skip until new dialogue occurs. Oh, that sounds useful. Just be quick about it. Just being around her in the end shut down all my organs. What the hell am I supposed to do about that? Mm-hmm. Um, to quote you from last summer, she just spread us. I can possibly justify saying that she's clearly something far, far worse. And who locked her in that basement? What is this place? Like I said, if she killed you, it was probably because you didn't listen to me. Don't talk to her. Don't trust her. Just go in, do your job, and save the world. Yep, yeah, skip unseen text. Okay, there we go. Wait, hold on. Don't skip unseen text. After choices and transitions. Okay, so when I click skip button, it will not skip unseen text if I have... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, there we go. That was weird. <laughs> She's something worse. She is just a princess. Whatever you think happened to you last time, just get it out of your head before you get to the cabin, and you'll be fine. People locked her in that bay. Look, I'm not supposed to say this. You can't just this is scene into text. doing something by calling a special. It's manipulative. Why nope, are you trying it's to not. manipulate us? I don't know, I kinda like yeah, being paranoid special. paranoid lines are new. <laughs> okay, fine. Maybe you can goad him into doing something, but he's not even the one who makes the decisions here. I'm not goading you into doing anything. You already know the princess is dangerous. All I'm trying to say is that you have to be the one to deal with her. I know it doesn't seem fair, but that's just the way it is. And for what it's worth, I know you have it in you to finish the job. We don't. You saw what happened to us last time. We need to leave. I've told you everything you need to know. Going into more detail would just overcomplicate an otherwise very simple situation and make your job more difficult. If you want us to stand a chance against her, we need to be armed with information. What is she really capable of? How are we supposed to stop her? Not to sound like a broken record, but the less you know about her, the better things will go for all of us. I know it sounds like I'm hiding something, but you're just going to have to take me at my word. He isn't telling us everything he knows because he doesn't trust us, which means that we can't trust him. But Correct. do you even trust yourself? Stop talking yourself in neurotic circles and just get to the cabin already. I mean, we already know that, like, the narrator is f not a part of us. It's from something else. Do you see the way he keeps pushing us? We have to get out of here. That's all. Great. Now, if you don't mind, the whole world is waiting with bated breath for you to save it from ruin. A warning. Before oh. you go any further. Whoops. She will lie, she will cheat, and she will do everything. I don't think lying and cheating is a thing. She was very direct with us last time. Or at least... She was direct with us after we decided to lock her away. It doesn't matter. Don't trust anyone. DTA. Not even me. The interior of the cabin ah. is plain. The smooth wood of the walls almost featureless. The only furniture of note is a lone table, knocked on its side in the corner of the room. A pristine blade stands between you and the open, inviting basement doorway. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. Hold on. What happened to the door? There was a door here last time. It's just an empty frame. She's already gotten out, hasn't she? 
And she's ready for us. She's been waiting. Can't you feel her eyes on us? I'm going to need all of you to pull yourselves together. The princess has not already gotten out. But if you keep getting stuck in your head like this, you're going to struggle to get the job done. So deep breath in, deep breath out. Your task awaits, and only you can do it. Okay. You reach down and pick the blade up off the floor. It would be difficult to slay the princess and save the world without a weapon. Now the only time we went... Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> We're being watched. Oh, shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. The windows. Oh, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good call. Good call. What the fuck? Ooh. There you are. Little audience. And that... Yeah, it's her. Different versions of her. You can see the little tiara right there. And the little bang. Okay, okay. Uh, I was gonna say, the first time we went straight to the mirror and then walked straight, didn't wind down the other side paths, and then met the, uh, and then hit the, 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 uh, the Omni. So, um, let's, let's continue forward to, to this, though. Good. Steel can't lie to us. Mm-hmm. Is it gonna be enough, though? Couldn't you have given us something else? Something, I don't know, better than a knife? Could we have a bomb? A bomb? The blade is the only thing you need to finish your task. You're more than capable of pulling this off, so long as you don't lose faith in yourself. Just get bomb Kirby power and just fucking mash <laughs> A. <laughs> <laughs> Those are the words of someone who knows he's sending us to our death. Very different. I'm not the only one who sees her in the window, right? Mm-hmm. She knows that we're here. That's paranoia. Calm down. Maybe the three of you just think everything is different because you haven't been here before. Enough of this past life nonsense. You haven't died. You certainly haven't been killed by the princess. So focus up. A lot's riding on this. Right. Each chapter two, you're possessed by the, the version of you that you previously did, but has there ever been, they've all been one voice per uh, on each one, right? Yeah. So what, what's going through my mind right now, and like, it might sound crazy, and I'm just like plot gunning right now, mm -hmm. but what if all the voices are you, mm -hmm. and all the princesses are like this different aspects of her personality, mm -hmm. and like, the narrator is like, yo, we gotta do this because something went wrong between the narrator and the princess. And it's like, you gotta slay the princess. I, I, something happened, we have to slay her. I don't think that's a guess. No? I think that's... That's the whole thing? That's absolutely what's yeah. occurring. And now we're we trying that. to like, parse through it. Yeah, that's literally the what... The voices are talking that, that's, to like yes. a, the paranoid part of you, the skeptic part yeah. of you. The, okay. That's not a guess. That's literally what we're seeing happen. Yeah. If anything, the only question, uh, the, the questions unanswered are like, why are you like a beast? And who is the actual narrator's origin point? Is the or right? Because when she looks inside and sees all the shards on the floor, there's one that is, doesn't belong, that seems like it's a memory, as, as described when she goes inside of you. So it's like, does that, is, does that, narr does the narrator actually come from her omniform? And is part of her driving you to go do this because you seem to be the only two things that exist in reality, you know? Uh, yeah, I, I, so I think my guess would be that the narrator is part of yourself. Could be, yeah, could. And be. he's like, we we gotta do this. Don't I, think about it. Yeah. And you got all these voices talking to you, and you know that like there's something wrong. You calling her a monster, mm -hmm. but you're a monster yourself of doing course. these things. You know. And you so. can and you you can get stronger, or you can wither away when you look into yeah. the mirror. So there's a state update whenever you do it. But the only thing with the problem with that, I think, is they made a note to have her look inside your body and point out that the narrator is something different. Right in the route where she possesses you. She's like, oh, this is something else. Mm -hmm. So that makes me think that yeah. it's not the same as the others that what are about, just a part of you. What so. about when you meet someone and you think you know them? 
and later on you meet a new part of their personality. Yeah. It's possible that that could have all been a giant red herring. You're not wrong, but I just think the game took the effort to point out that this one is not like the others, and I don't think that was for nothing. Okay. You know? Yeah. Um, let's go. Oh, wait, hold on. You're right. I was so stuck on the eyes watching us that I didn't even notice it there. What are you two talking about? There isn't a mirror. There's a table, the blade sitting on the floor, and the open doorway leading to the basement. There's nothing else in here. Also, every time we leave the cabin, the narrator fades away first, but the other parts of the personality continue until we enter the mirror. So there's a gap between the narrator's death and every and then everyone else. Oh. Right. They don't go away at the same time. No, they don't. There's definitely a mirror. There isn't. We have to look at it. Unless that's what he wants us to do. And pretending it isn't there is a trick to get us to do exactly what he wants. And when we leave the cabin, it's when we've done the deed, yeah. usually? When we either kill her or she kills... Well, not when she kills us, but when she kills herself. You walk out, and then the moment you leave the cabin, the narrator fades away. But then the, the other... Deed is done. But then your personalities continue. And then when, the, when everything fades away and the mirror is left, you go into the mirror, and then they fade away. Okay. And you're left with yourself. And you're left with yourself. Uh, Interesting. Yeah. We shouldn't waste time preening. But if he is lying about the mirror, it might be important. I'm not lying to you. Use your eyes. There is no mirror. Maybe he's trying to keep us from looking because there's something horribly wrong with us. No, there isn't something horribly wrong with you. You look exactly how you're supposed to look. Now stop second guessing my every word. Furthermore, the narrator can't see the mirror. Yeah. But the others can. The narrator is very much different. All right. You cross over the threshold Ooh. and onto a series of isolated steps suspended in darkness. More eyes, too. You never mention the eyes. The air seeping up from below reminds you of fresh lightning and static, as if you're descending into a place that isn't meant for a creature of flesh and blood. If the princess lives here, slaying her would probably be doing her a favor. Her cruel and playful voice prances up the stairs. Being stared at is, like, more threatening than actually seeing the thing trying to kill you. Always. <laughs> I didn't think you'd come back. We're gonna have a lot of fun, you and I. Okay, we need a game plan. Last time we were here, just being close to her was enough to kill us. Are you in gyromancy mode? <laughs> is that what we're doing? Are we doing some gyromancy? How hard is it to throw a knife? <laughs> I'm going to talk to her. We don't need a plan. I'm just going to kill her. Mr. Narrator seems to think I can do it. I don't know why you're all being such pessimists right now. Step off into the void between the stairs. Ooh, that's interesting. That's an end at all. It can't be that hard. But then we'd lose our weapon. We'd have to make it count. Otherwise, she'd be furious and we'd be defenseless. Hmm. If a knife is even enough to do anything against something like her in the first place, it'll be enough. So what is this route? Is this just end it all? Could save and see. No. Nope. Attempt to step off the stairs and into the nope. pitch black surrounding them. Collision box. Stopped by an invisible <laughs> force. Why did you do that? What did you think would happen? I was curious. I don't know. Falling into an infinite void seems better than going downstairs and dying. I'm just scared. I'm just scared. How would falling into an infinite void be better than anything? <sighs> you make your way to the bottom <laughs> of the stairs. As you emerge, you find yourself between two loose rows of white wooden planks suspended in nothingness. A smattering of cobblestones visible against the inky black of the basement mark where the floor should be, forming vague pathways. At what seems to be the end of the room, they diverge in opposite directions, left and right. No center this time. She could be anywhere, and there's nowhere for us to hide. We're completely exposed. Are you really not going to comment on how weird this place is? 
No, I'm not. Somebody needs to be the voice of reason here, and it certainly isn't you. I don't think it's Excuse you either, but... Excuse me. I'm being incredibly reasonable. You're the one who's just matter-of-factly describing whatever the hell we're looking at like it's an ordinary basement. We're going to die down here. I don't want to die again. Please stop saying that. You're only going to make things worse. Just pick a direction and start moving. I wouldn't give it too much thought if I were you. It doesn't really matter. Because either way you go, I'm going to find you. Uh, go left. You turn to the left. A faintly outlined path lies before you. There you are. I told you I was going to find you. As the princess approaches, your legs suddenly go numb. Your arms quickly follow. This is it, isn't it? And you brought your little knife with you again. Cute. There has to be a way out of this. Think. Think. What did you do? Cracked mask. Pull yourself together. She isn't supposed to be like this. Powered up ghost form. I don't know. I wonder how many times I'll get to play with you before you break. Your vision cuts out as your blood begins to coagulate. It's as if every part of your being is coming to a lurching halt. Heart. Lungs. Liver. Nerves. Heart. Lungs. Liver. Nerves. Your lungs pull in a desperate gulp of air as your eyes shoot back <laughs> up. What are you doing? I'm working. Do you want this body to function, or do you want... Okay, whatever you were doing, please just start doing it again. Are you sure about that? Are you sure that's what you want, or do you want to interrupt me some more? You have seconds left. <laughs> yes, I'm sure. Heart. Lungs. Liver. Again, your eyes shoot open as you gasp for breath. Heart. You can't decide what you want to do, can you? Live or die. Oh, well, standing there gasping like a fish is more fun than dead. Even if you look ridiculous. She isn't attacking us. Why? The why doesn't matter. She's already proven her ill intent. Don't lose sight of your mission. Your weapon is still in your hands. Strike at her. And end this before it's too late. Liver. Nerves. Heart. Lungs. Liver. Nerves. Heart. Lungs. Why won't you finish me off? Nerves. Heart. Uh, lungs. What does it do? What do I do if I'm alive? What do you want from me? What happened if you killed me last time? I'm just trying to stop you. You're a lunatic. If you want to work together. Let's turn off this whole organ shutting down situation. How about I just kill you instead? You don't have to be enemies, we can work together. We can even be friends. I'm not doing any of this. I'm not helping you leave, and I'm not going to try and kill you to so do your worst. Toss the blade and remain with your nightmare. Okay, let's get out of here. Leave together. Fine, you win. I'll let you leave. Leave together. Wow, okay, we got a whole lot of options here this time around, too. Uh, I'm actually going to do a big one here. Hmm. Why won't you finish me off? Because I don't want to. And even if I did, I don't have to. Look at the way you're struggling to stay alive. It's taking everything you have to keep your heart pumping right now. And I'm enjoying the show. The princess leans forward, bringing her masked lips close to your ear. If I want to see you die, all I need to do is break your concentration. Heart, lungs, liver, nerves. She slowly runs her velvet glove across the base of your neck. It feels like static. And then... Shit, 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 make her stop! Hey, snap out of it. Okay, deep breath. Deep breath, we're fine. Heart, lungs, liver, nerves. Heart, your back, lungs, liver, nerves. One moment, Heart, lungs, and then you're liver, gone. Nerves. Just lungs, like liver, nerves, that. Heart, lungs, ah, liver, and nerves, there's the fear. Lungs, liver, she pulls nerves, away. Heart, but that lungs, wouldn't be very fun, now would it? Heart, I've already lungs, done that. Liver, nerves, 
heart, lungs, liver, nerves, heart, lungs, liver, nerves, heart, lungs, liver, nerves, heart, lungs, liver, nerves, heart, lungs, liver, nerves, heart, lungs, liver, nerves, heart, lungs, liver. Your will concentrates into a single fine point, and you strike out against the princess, ignoring the constant reminders of your breaking body. She doesn't even move as the blade sinks into her heart. We, we did it. We actually did it. Nerves, heart, lungs, liver, nerves, You actually went for it. Oh, you're going to regret this. I can be so much more terrible for you than I am now. Nerves, heart, Can she? Nerves, Already seen how she can change heart, lungs, liver, nerves. You're not getting those stairs back. I'll see you when you finally decide to die. Heart. She falls to the ground, liver, unmoving. Nerves. Heart. Oh, I, I can stop now, can't I? I can. Oh, finally. And now that she's gone, you can let us out of here. Right? But she was the one who controlled this place, wasn't she? And now she's dead. I, I don't like to think what that means for us. It means that you're stuck here. Forever. Right. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, I hate this. Time passes. Forever's gonna end eventually, right? No, it won't. That's the whole point of forever. Mm -hmm. It doesn't end. I feel sick. It doesn't have to be forever, though, does it? And we're back here. What do you mean? We still have a way out, clutched in our hands. Are you suggesting we kill ourselves? Won't we be dead? I guess that hasn't stopped us before. That's a terrible idea. You've already saved the entire world from ruin. Why would you want to die? Because right now, you don't want us to do that. You're right. I don't. But if we've already saved the world, then why does it matter if we die? Why do you care? Because he forgets every time we loop. I just do. I value life. Every life. Even yours. Especially yours. Why? Do you? What do you mean, why? I think it's perfectly reasonable to value life. Exactly. I don't have to answer that. That's not like a better if I die, I'll just come back again. But I've got the best company I could ask for. You guys, what more do I need? Am I not a creature of biology? Won't I starve or die of dehydration before forever happens? Are you stuck here with yeah. us? Are you capable of going other places? That's a grim thought, isn't it? But I in suppose it. you're right. You are a creature of biology. Something will happen to you before forever comes along. We don't have to starve to death. You have our way out. Use it. Use it. Are you capable of going other places? I'm stuck here with you. I wish I weren't. Feelings mutual. At least we're all being honest. Mm hmm Ah, yes. The whole looping thing. Yeah. How unfortunate. You were only supposed to be here once. I don't like the way you said that. You knew this was a possibility, didn't you? Of course I did. Though, I'd rather hoped I was the first one. That explains a lot, though. Oh, you bastard. How much are you not telling us? Mm. Plenty but it's all in your best interest. And the world's, and mine. She's dead and we're stuck in a hell void forever. How could telling us your secrets possibly hurt anyone? It just can. Look, this world is saved, but if you start over, for all you know, you're just putting another world in danger. You barely managed to land the killing blow here. What if you don't manage it next time? <sighs> I've already said too much, really. You won't get another word out of me on the subject. Of course. Can you tell me your secrets now? No. <laughs> How about now? Is it secret time? Still no. <laughs> I'm going to wear you down eventually. You might as well spill those sweet, sweet secrets now. Then we'll have something else to talk about. 
you're not going to wear me down. Oh, we should ask him one more time. He's on the cusp of sharing his secrets. I can feel it. I'm not. Either way, at least needling him is something to do. <laughs> secrets? Secret, secret. I've oh, got a secret. The narrator ignores you. You can't just describe yourself ignoring us. I can. There it is. The narrator continues to ignore Wait. you. Skip. Yeah, okay. Uh, I've got you guys. Exactly. You'll be fine here. Just come up with a game or something to pass the time. I get it. You don't want us to die because you'd be so lo you'd be lonely. Oh, how sweet. Unlike you, I'm not capable of being lonely. Oh, sure you are. Give it some time without us and I'm sure you'll start feeling lonely. <laughs> you remove the blade from the princess's body. What exactly are you planning on doing with it? You can throw the blade into the void. You can slay yourself. Or you can wait. More time passes. You're still here. Huh. What if you eat it? Oh no, what are you doing? You tighten your grip and fling the blade as hard as you can into the void. It's gone. Now you're really stuck here forever. There's no way out now. You mean, other than starving? Right, I mean, other than that. You wait, and then you wait for a little while longer. But eventually the thirst sets in. And the hunger. The darkness of this place prevents you from wholly grasping the context of passing time. But that doesn't stop it from passing. Nor does it stop your biology from unraveling. So you do exist and can get hungry and thirsty. You're not just a concept. The only things you know for certain are that it's long and that it hurts. The vastness of your suffering can't be adequately put into words. We really shouldn't have tossed the blade. You gave me the option. No. You really shouldn't have. But biology and time are immutable forces. And eventually, long before forever gets the chance to come, everything goes dark. And you die. Don't muck it up next time. The princess may be slain here, but she isn't slain there. Chapter 3 The Wraith You're on a path in the woods. Ooh. Shit! This really doesn't end, does it? It doesn't matter if we kill her, it doesn't matter if she kills us, mm. it just goes on and on and mm -hmm. on and mm -hmm. on and mm -hmm. on. Yes, so it does. Ooh. They're all here. All the warriors? No, there has to be a way out of here. There just has to be. What if... We do what she asked us to last time? What if we just let her leave? Okay, so... You've already been here. More than once, even. Great. So you probably already know all about her, and all about the threat she poses to the world. Then let me remind you how catastrophic it would be if you helped her leave in any way. If she gets out, the world ends and everyone ends with it. Yourself included. Oh, threatening us with death, are we? And why should we be afraid of dying? We've already done it twice. Piece of cake. All death has done More than that. shunt us back to these woods where we're forced to listen to your empty warnings again and again. This place feels a bit different though, doesn't it? I don't even know what I'd call it, but it's definitely not the same path in the woods anymore. That's all the more reason to take this seriously. Ooh, music if too. the path isn't the same, it means that her influence is spreading, and the world has already started to end. Her... influence? I really shouldn't have said that. It'll make your task more difficult. But now it's out, you could always take that information as a sign of goodwill between us and do your job, alright? 
Well, the existence of spider webs implies the existence of spiders, which implies the existence of life and a, an ecosystem. Right? Great. Let's just hurry. I'm just like, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> it's spooky imagery, idiot. Are you the same narrator we met on the other loops? You were quick to accept that we've been here before. We've been killed by her, and we've killed her. Neither of those things have gone well for us. If we're going through this, to, if we're going to fall through this loop forever, we're eventually we're going to let her out. We might as well do it now. What happens if we don't go to the cabin? That's another option. Proceed to the cabin. There's something else we haven't tried: turning around and leaving. We've tried that. Are you the same narrator? Suspiciously quick. If I had to make a wager, I'd say yes and no. Is that supposed to be a riddle? If it is, it's not very Yeah, that's good. rubbish. I haven't met you, but you've clearly met me. It sounds to me like you're hopping between parallel realities, in which case the me you just met here is the same collection of experiences as the me you met at all mm -hmm. of those other beginnings, but their continuity breaks the moment you say or do anything, mm -hmm. in effect making them all separate. So, yes, I'm the same me, but ever since the moment we started talking, I'm different. Yes, you're a saved state. I'm not sure how we're supposed to kill him ourselves. But he's asking for it. Maybe there's some way she can take care of him for us. They've clearly all been through some harrowing experiences. <laughs> Don't let their baggage influence your decisions. You have the ability to see things clearly. I suggest you use it. I don't know, you say that, but... I'm down with a party. In my brain. <laughs> Now! Uh, yeah. Okay, so. It's all pretty futile up to now. So if we go let her out, then what? You're making a dizzying amount of assumptions. Your perceived reality looping twice before does not mean it will continue to do so forever. Those little voices have already drawn attention to the fact that even the path is different. The world itself is at a tipping point. Know that there is always a choice. Even if you were stuck in an infinite loop, there's no reason to assume that the mere nature of the infinite would force you to make any specific choice. You do have free will, as much as things would be easier if you didn't. And you can just keep making the correct choice forever, never deviating. Everyone is manipulating us, but we're starting to see the threads now. We just have to avoid getting tangled up in them. Paranoid is spitting. On second thought, let's not kill him. Let's throw <laughs> him someplace that never ends. I'd like to see what that does to him. And she finds a way out on her own. So, standing around out here is the same as us letting her out. Only we don't have to see her. That's gotta be better, right? No, it's strictly worse. And why is that? But the only solution worth considering. Because it's cowardly, for starters, and because the unknown is always worse than the known. Really, all you're doing right now is weighing two considerably, considerably bad options. The only solution worth considering is slaying her, and whatever delusion is holding you back from that is just that, a delusion. If you already managed to enter in some other world, the only reason you'd be here is that you somehow managed to do it wrong. You continue down the path towards the cabin. How's it look? It isn't long before you're steps away from your destination. Dead trees. I don't think you need any words of warning. I think you know what's in there, and despite your protestations, I think you know what you need to do. I don't like any of our options here. It feels like we're being driven down the tracks to some awful inevitability. There must be something we're missing. Something that would make everything make sense. Yeah, none of these none of these mem party members have met the Omni. Maybe letting her out really is the answer. Whatever. You don't want to listen to me? Do it then. Let her out. See what I care. It sounds like somebody's about to crack. 
Are you trying to use reverse psychology on me? Or have you just given up? Getting up in the middle mine? There's obviously no point in trying to reason with you right now, especially with all these clowns offering up their useless advice. Honestly, it seems like the more I try and talk sense into you, the more single-minded they get about letting her out. So yes, I'm done trying to argue. Would you look at that? We won. Take it however you will. Hey man, chapter three. The interior New shit. of the cabin is long and oh. dark. A single narrow hallway stretching far into the distance. Curtains billow out from tall windows on either side, obscuring the path forward, fluttering helplessly as opposing gusts of wind rush into the building, clashing and joining and driving everything forward. Far into the distance, he says. Still can't see it. The only furniture of note is... Hmm. That's strange. What's strange? Is it the mirror? What mirror? The mirror? No, there mm -hmm. isn't a mirror. What's strange is that there isn't much of anything in here at all, aside from the curtains. There's supposed to be a pristine blade. Why isn't there a pristine blade? Of course there isn't a mirror. There wasn't one last time either, so why would it be there this time? I suppose the only way to go is forward. So forward we will go. Blade or not, it doesn't really matter, does it? Let's pretend there's a mirror at the end of this hallway, and that right now we can't see behind it. What's there? What's behind it? If you're asking what's at the end of the hallway, it's the way to the basement. Are you saying there isn't a door? Are you saying that at the end of the hallway, there's just an opening again? He didn't say door, did he? No, I didn't say door, because there isn't a door, it's just an opening. It's just like last time, isn't it? Only instead of a visible empty void, there's an invisible one. For all we know, she could be standing right there behind the mirror. For all we know, she's going to jump out at us and there's nothing we can do to stop her. Let me assure you that there's nothing there. Nothing is going to jump out at you. And certainly not the princess. The princess is in the basement. You slowly make your way towards the gaping moor that awaits you. Your fraying nerves buzz with trepidation, the chill wind raising your hackles as it gently pushes you forward towards the darkness at the end of the hallway. You can't shake the feeling that you're being watched. Oh, do we? Do we feel like we're being watched? I hadn't noticed. At least you're admitting to it now. <coughs> you stop as you reach the end of the hallway, I presume in front of whatever mirror isn't actually there. I hate that I know what's about to happen. Knowing makes it so much worse. You reach your arm forward into the pitch black of the opening. <sighs> oh, that was a close one. All that stress and lead up for nothing. Hopelessly staring into the void. I'm glad I made a lasting impression. Oh no, Mira wasn't the same. Shit, where is she? You feel something long and frigid coil around your ankle. Your heart skips a beat, standing in muted shock for one long, frozen moment. And then it, she, the princess, constricts. Oh, we got tentacles going? Bones snap. Icy pain radiates up from the break, a deep cold flooding your veins as your legs, numb with the shock of it, collapse, and you collapse with them. You're met with the terrifying visage of the princess, her hand grips your leg in a steel vice, her grin carved jagged from ear to ear, crowded with far too many long and crooked teeth. You killed me last time, and that was after you tried to lock me away forever. I was so, so close to freedom, but then you took my body away from me. So now, I'm going to take yours, and I'm going to walk it out of here. And you? You get to watch me through it. Completely helpless. Just like you left me. Okay, maybe letting her in isn't the best idea. She clearly hates us. And what's your point? I thought you wanted to get out of here. This is a way out, and it's different. <laughs> we might as well take That's it. That's new. Yeah? Yeah, but not like this. She's going to make it hurt. Then turn off the part of you that feels things. Damn. Oh, like it's that easy? It is. Pain is just another sensation. If you can tolerate joy, you can tolerate pain. Except that pain hurts. 
Yes, that's what it does. That's the definition. Do we need to explain to you why pain is bad? You need to explain to yourself why it isn't. <laughs> okay, cold. Look, even though you killed me, and then I killed you. Water under the bridge, right? I never wanted to hurt you. I don't even know how I got here. I'm a victim in all this too, you know. Wouldn't possessing me against my will make you no better than me? You don't have to be evil. You don't have to do this. Do you need to take my body? Can't I just open the door for you? That's fine. I actually came here to free you. See? That wasn't so hard. And maybe this will make it hurt a little less. Maybe. You remain pinned to the floor of the long Ooh. hallway as the rest of the princess's body emerges. Her proportions all wrong, limbs bent and curling, moving in ways that defy your understanding. Mm -hmm. Her torso stretches until her face is practically touching yours, her neck cracking audibly as she twists to look at you from a fresh angle. Are you sure you can't do anything to help us? Can't you, like, manifest a rock right on top of her head? And crush you along with her? Not that I even can manifest a rock. Besides, I thought you all wanted to free the princess. Not like this. You don't even have a weapon. So I'm afraid you're out of luck, which unfortunately means that I, and the rest of the world, are out of luck too. Okay, deep breath. This is fine. This is fine. Is it? Is there any <laughs> conceivable way that this is fine? Yeah, I'm right. This is fine. It's better uh -huh. than last time. At least our organs aren't failing. At least I can actually talk. It is fine. Everything is always fine. These consequences have no real impact on us outside of momentary discomfort. I'm sure we'll be moving on them soon enough. Your vision fades as she tears open the membrane of your soul. You're awake. Eyes once again fixed on the long hallway, your vision swimming as the princess's command reverberates inside your skull. Her voice is all-encompassing. You feel wrong. It's so cramped in here, like there's some sort of growth trying to push us all out. I know. You rise to your feet, though the pain in your ankle is blinding. Your body slumps against the wall, desperately leaning into it for support. I'd beg you to resist, but you've already surrendered your will to her, haven't you? Yeah. You're the puppet master here. If this is the only way we could cut ourselves free from you, so be it. It's a new experience. You should try being possessed sometime. There's nothing else like it. <laughs> Your body inches along the corridor, every step more difficult and painful. Are we than walking? The last. We're working on broken foot. Your joints stiff and unresponsive. Yeah. The shattered bones of your ankle grinding ceaselessly, yeah. as if they're fragmenting, then reforming, then snapping all over again as you make your way towards the outside world. <laughs> Despite the anguish, it doesn't feel like the exit to the cabin is getting any closer. If anything, it's getting oh, further no. away. Oh no! Couch gag. It doesn't matter how long your hallway is, I still grab the body with the papers neat and feathered. I will be free. Please, just let her out. Yeah. Let me pointless, isn't it? I can't stop her without you, and you'd already given up by the time we met. No, no, screw that. The hallway gets even <laughs> Damn. It really is, isn't it? The narrator can kind of manipulate reality, actually. Yeah, but not not completely. Isn't saying all of this his job? He oh, he really is, isn't he? I had a feeling you could deal with him for us. I did nothing. He dealt with 
This is it then. Damn. The big moment. Finally, we'll get to see what's really out there. He gave up. But as you step outside the bounds of the cabin, you feel another violent tear, a rending that cuts all the way down to your soul. Skullgirls! <laughs> I mean, right? I see you. That's 1.5 Skullgirls right there. Come on. Now once again separated from everything that had nestled in the deep crevices of your body. From everything that isn't you. We're us again. How interesting. Everything is gone. Except her. What? What? What is happening to me? Oh, you don't know? Just another one. Just another form. If you don't answer her before she's gone, memory returns. Huh. The false mirror was an interesting... Hmm. She's gone? Where did she go? Should we try and find her? And there's that mirror again. Why is it here? Why now? Right, right, right. You approach the mirror. Silence as you reach forward. They're gone once again. The mirror always makes them leave, but you need to see what's in it. You've unraveled. That's... That arm is... Yeah. Emaciated. You find yourself in the long quiet once again. You are at the cabin. There's a world beyond the endless walls of the long quiet. We're supposed to be there. Do you know what we'll find out there? Is that a rhetorical question? Do you know? Do you want to tell me? Rhetorical. I am not rhetorical. I have only known these spaces. And I have known flickers of the lives you've brought me. Short and violent and full of passion. But all of those flickers end where the long quiet begins. I'm asking you because I cannot know your mind. Do you know what we'll find out there? There's trees and stars. And there are people, I think. They're supposed to be people. Do you think that anything is real out there? Do you think that we're real? There is a warmth and sadness in me at the thought of people. Fresh tears on a winter's day. They are not like us. They do not last. When you send me back, I'm not alone. There's voices that speak to me. Some of them are me, but one of them is something else. I call him the narrator, and he wants me to kill you. Do you have a narrator? Have the vessels had one? No. Their thoughts are quiet. Do you think your narrator lives in the spaces beyond? Oh. Does the princess have no internal monologue? Are you one of those people? <laughs> does. I don't know why, but I know this for a fact. It's like the cab driver that's on the phone like with another person for like all eight hours of the day. Just mm -hmm. having random thoughts because it's like the, the when there's no internal monologue you just say stuff and you're living in every second. Uh... I don't know why, but I know this for a fact. Does it, uh, 
So what I'm going to do when I find him. He does, and when I find him, you and I are finally going to have answers. He does, and when I find him, I'm going to kill him. He does, but you're going to keep that to yourself. Do not look to one who fears me for your truth. The only answers worth knowing are those we can find within ourselves. Do you think anything's real? We are real. Nothing is an idea that dwells in the absence of something. But nothing cannot exist on its own. And because of that, nothing can't exist. You know, it's interesting how similar some of this is to, uh, uh, Neverhood? Not Neverhood. What's it called? Neverwood? Huh? Everwood? Everwood? Yeah, the... The... Um, yeah, the game you hate. Yeah, 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 yeah. The, the... the it, it's interesting. Everhood, yeah. Everhood, Everhood. Neverhood's the, um, the claymation one. Um, yes, it, it's, it, it's similar because, uh of the everything and nothing bad consequences good consequences it all kind of comes back to a reincarnation but i suppose the difference here is that like every pa the path is not necessarily her running and screaming from you as you hunt her down and brutally murder her while she's like please don't do it mm -hmm. it's clearly giving way to like all versions of like so in some cases, her doing it herself and all that. So it, it it sells the concept of everything and every consequence a bit better than the one where everyone is horrified of the idea of you coming to kill them for the sake of reincarnation. Do you have any thoughts on this vessel? This one is loneliness turned to seething. She could not find her strength in others, so she found it in herself. She will make for a driven heart. Hmm. Do not mourn her. She isn't alone anymore. You know what else handles its themes better than Everhood? What's up? <laughs> <laughs> what nonsense are you going to say now? Is it even going to come out? I mean, when you see the way JCVD takes down the bad guys, dude, I'm telling you. <laughs> of course it was nonsense. Of course. You, If you haven't seen it, you don't know. But man, dude gets kicked and it's like, shouldn't have fucked with a time cop. Damn. How many more? One. Whatever you bring me next will be enough. And then gravity will pull the others back to me. You have a number. I will be singular, a final multitude. If this is the last stage before completion, I'm not going back. I'm just going to stay here. You've already tried waiting, but I understand if you need more time. I'll wait with you. There's no waiting forever. I'm ready to go back. The next time I see you, each of us will finally know what we are. I will be here, waiting for you. Everything goes dark. And you die. Every time? Every time. <laughs> <laughs> Alright.